What's up guys, Ant here today with another video. Today, we are back with some more Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. So far, we just witnessed the Emperor uh, sadly die. But now we've got to go through the sewers to get out of here. Ugh, the sewers. Okay, we gotta go through this door. Open door with Varsus key. Okay, it's easy. So we go down here. Alright, into the sewers we go. go. So, what I know, there is rats and goblins here. Steer clear of those. Uh oh, a rat! Nope! Oh! <laughs> oh snap! Goblin! Goblin! Gonna, like, we're gonna. Oh what? Something just happened. Oh wait, there's stairs. I just wasn't looking properly. <laughs> Check this. No, I cannot. Holy! There's a rat. There's a rat. There's a rat. And literally nothing but useless rat meat. Okay, so if we. Oh, didn't want to fall off there. Otherwise, we have to. The entire thing again, which doesn't take long, but. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. I am making it out alive. My athletic skills has increased. Okay. This gate is sealed. Huh. Okay. Well, at least we've reached the exit. Before exiting the sewers, you may revise your character. Um, you know what? My character's fine. I'm gonna do it. Out I go! Into the open. And it takes a while to load. We're out in the open, guys. Finally. Fresh air. Oh, what? Quest completed. The red arrow on your compass shows the direction of Wayne and Priory. You can walk... Ugh. Sorry, I've lost track of where I am. You can walk there by following your compass, or use the world map to travel there directly. Or, you can set off in any direction and begin exploring the world on your own. Good luck. Okay, yeah, so... What I have learned, and I've played this on another file, what I have learned is that you can, like, um, actually, like, quick travel. Okay, so we've just gonna, like, oh, what? So we're gonna go here? So, Joffrey. Wayne and Priory is where we need to go. So fast traveling, I would recommend the best option because it's like yeah we're gonna travel there because it like it takes a while walking there so yeah this makes it a whole lot easier you can like fast travel wherever in this game basically but in like Skyrim you have to like explore the place before you can like fast travel I've arrived at Wayne and Priory now I must take the amulet of kings to draw free so, it's not this building, I know for sure, but it is this building. Okay, now we open the door to meet Joffrey. How do we put away our things? Wrong button. I don't know how to put away my sword, like... <laughs> ah, never mind. He wouldn't mind if I... I'm Brother John. Like what do you want? Uh... I... Uh, the Emperor sent me to find you. Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? Uh... I was there when he died. You'd better explain yourself. Now. He gave me the Amulet of Kings. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. Uh, yeah, give the amulet. By the nine, this is the amulet of kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the emperor's death? Uh, 
Uh, I'll say the last words. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Uh... Close shut the jaws of oblivion. His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Merun's Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. How can Oblivion threaten us then? I'm not okay. sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. The Emperor asked me to find his son. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Okay. Many years gotcha. ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. Where can I find Uriel's son, exactly? <laughs> his name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And oh dear. please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Okay, so we've got a new quest. Um, yeah, let's go. Waste no time. You must find Martin before the enemy Sure thing. I'll go find Martin. Um, yeah, I know exactly where he is, because I can basically fast travel. Which I know doesn't sound like I'm mostly doing all the work, but still, it gets me there, because... Like... Yeah. So I can't fast travel anywhere unless it's... One of these places like yeah, I wanna travel to Kavach. Restoration magic has spells that absorb attributes and skills, temporarily transferring them to you. Pretty handy. <laughs> okay. So we're in Kavach. Come on! Run while there's still time! The guard still holds the room, okay. but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed! Run from what, exactly? God's blood. You don't know, do you? Deidre overran Kvatch last night. There were glowing portals outside the walls. Gates to oblivion itself. There was a huge creature. Something out of a nightmare. Came right over the walls. Blasting fire. They swarmed around it. Killing. The whole city can't be destroyed, can it? Go and see for yourself. Kvatch is a smoking ruin. We're all that's left. Do you understand me? Everyone else is dead. Okay, how did you escape? It was Savly and Matthias. Some of the other guards helped some of us escape. They cut their way out right through the city gates. Okay. Savly says they can hold the road. No, no, I don't believe him. Nothing can stop them. If you'd seen it, you'd know. I'm getting out of here before it's too late. Well, They'll be here any minute, I'm telling that's you. That's a bit over exaggerative. Well, that's a... Don't run away! You know what? Run away. Yeah. I don't think you'd be that good at fighting anyway. It's the... What do you want? Uh, I want to talk to... I want to... Let's first talk about Martin. You mean the priest? I don't think he made it out of the city. Very few of us did. But Savly and Mattias might know more. He's in charge of the city guard that are defending the camp. 
Okay. Salve, Matthias. You'll find him at the barricade at the top of the road. He's still trying to hold what's left of the guard together. Okay. Um, Stop talking. You know. Yeah, so. Um. We're gonna walk all the way up here. Up the pathway we go. We're gonna be pretty long. <laughs> Is left and it's like we have made it. Oh yeah, as we start getting high up into the mountain, uh, you'll notice the skies changing. Basically, because the portal of oblivion itself is like right there, as you can see past all these lovely-looking things. Savi Matthias. It's the man I want to talk to. Oh, wow. Ah, take that! Wow. There are goblins who know magic somehow. Somehow they know magic. Gotta hold them off. It's the smell. Smoke and fire. Something worse. Stand back, civilian. This is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. What happened here? Exactly. Lost the damn city. That's what happened! It was too much. Too fast. We were overwhelmed. Couldn't even get everyone out. There are still people trapped in there. Some made it to the chapel. Okay. The others were just... It's probably where Martin the is. The Count and his men are still holed up in the castle. Now we can't even get back into the city to help them. That damned oblivion gate blocking the way. What will you do now, exactly? The only thing we can do. We'll try to hold our ground, that's what. If we can't hold this barricade, those beasts could march right down and overrun the encampment. I have to try and protect the few civilians that are left. It's all I can do now. Okay, um, Martin. You mean the priest? Last I saw him, he was leading a group towards the chapel of Akatosh. Hey. If he's lucky, he's trapped in there with the rest of them. At least safe for the moment. If he's not... Help. You want to help? You're kidding, right? No, but I want to, You're but... serious. Maybe I can put you to use. I was It'll like... likely mean your death, though. Okay. Are you sure? Uh, I'll do whatever I can. I don't know how to close this gate, but it must be possible, because the enemy closed the ones they opened during the initial attack. You can see the mark on the ground where they were, with the great gate right in the middle. I sent men into the gate to see if they could find a way to shut it. They haven't come back. Oh dear, things aren't looking good for my screen recording device. Yeah, that was just a bit laggy just then. Okay, yeah, so since there are no more goblin creatures coming through here, we can just like... We can enter the gate, but um... Yeah, let's just go through here. Okay, yeah, let's just... Oh dear, things are getting way too laggy for the device I'm screen recording. Oh dear. Okay, things are okay now. <laughs> Okay, so we made it to the chapel. Let's go in. Condition of your weapons effect, how much damage they can do. Okay. Okay, so... 
This here is Brother Martin. Have you brought help? We've been trapped here since the Daedra overran the city. Come, come with me. You're in danger. Of course I'm in danger. But I'm needed here. I can't leave. I assume okay. you didn't risk your own life to come here to tell me something I already know. Who are you? I'm You're Martin, right? Yes. I'm a priest. Do you need a priest? I don't think I'll be much help to you. I'm yeah. having trouble understanding the gods right now. If all this is part of a divine plan, I'm not sure I want to have anything to do with it. Um... Yeah, there is a plan. We're part what of it. plan? What are you talking about? I prayed to Akatosh all through that terrible night, but no help came. Only more Daedra. What can you possibly know that would help me make sense of this? Uh, you're Uriel Septim's son. Emperor Uriel Septim? You think the Emperor is my father? No, you must have the wrong man. I am a priest of Akatosh. My father was a farmer. The Emperor knew you were in danger. You spoke to the Emperor before he died? And he told you to find me? Why would I lie to you? I don't you? know. It's strange. I... I think you might actually be telling the truth. What does this mean? What do you want from me? Come with me to Wayne and Priory. No. I'm sorry, but even if what you say is true, I won't okay. abandon these people to their fate. I'll go with you when we can all leave here together. Uh, okay, yeah, that didn't go so well. Uh, anyway, guys, we're gonna leave this video off here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.